Why does the universe seem perfectly designed for life? Coincidence, necessity, or something deeper? Gravity, electromagnetism, the strength of the nuclear forces. If they were just a little different, life would be impossible. If gravity were stronger, stars would burn too fast. If weaker, no stars or planets would form. The cosmological constant, if it were slightly larger, galaxies could never form. Yet it is tuned to one part in 10 to the 120. Physicists call this the fine-tuning problem. The odds of such a life-permitting universe seem astronomically small. The Quran says, we created everything according to a precise measure. Alkamar 54, 49. Fine-tuning echoes this truth. But why does the universe look so fine-tuned? One answer, the anthropic principle. The anthropic principle says, the universe must allow observers like us to exist. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here to notice. The weak version, we observe the universe as it is, because only such a universe allows us to exist. The strong version, the universe seems compelled to bring about life, as if written into its laws. Critics say the anthropic principle explains too much and too little. Is it science or philosophy? The Quran says, did you think we created you aimlessly? Al-Mu'minun 23, 115. The anthropic principle asks the same question. Another bold idea goes further. What if this universe itself is not ultimate reality, but a simulation? Some scientists and philosophers suggest our reality could be a computer simulation. Philosopher Nick Bostrom argued, if civilizations survive long enough, they may run countless simulations of universes. If simulated universes vastly outnumber real ones, odds are we're inside one. Some scientists look for glitches in physics, tiny anomalies that might reveal a programmed reality. The Quran says, Allah is the creator of all things. Az-Zumar 3962. Whatever reality is, it is ultimately creation. If our universe is a simulation, who is the programmer? And what lies beyond the code? Fine-tuning, the anthropic principle, and the simulation hypothesis. Three lenses, one mystery. Why does the universe exist the way it does?